So Jackson, what is the most disgusting creature on the planet? A mouse. Yes. Why? Because they poop and pee everywhere. Yes, they do. Mice are disgusting creatures. They poop and pee everywhere. Some people think that mice don't have a bladder, but actually they do. It's just that they pee constantly. They use it to communicate and mark their trails. Did you know that? So that's the way they know where they're going, and then they come back on their own pee. So I've got here a PVC bait station. Let me show you how it works. I have five bait blocks threaded onto a metal rod. So what happens is the mice will uh, finish eating this one and the rest will then drop down. Load it up. It works. What do you think? Pretty cool. Now I want to show you how you can make one for yourself. I picked up all the supplies for this project at Home Depot. I'm using one and a half inch PVC pipe, but you can also use two inch, which would probably be better for rats. I'm using this small miter saw to cut the PVC, but you can use a hand saw as well. Here's how to assemble your bait station. Thread your 832 nut onto the threaded rod. It's a good idea to use a lock washer. The rod I'm using is 10 inches long, which we will cut down to the proper length in a minute. I'm adding this optional 1 inch PVC ring at the top. You don't want the metal rod to bottom out on the T-adapter, so I'll eyeball the measurement and cut it so it's not touching the bottom after we put it all together. I'm using a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel, or you can use a hacksaw. Slide your bait blocks onto the threaded rod. The blocks I purchased didn't have a hole in the middle, but I pre-drilled my own. Now just take your time and clean out the hole as you drill to avoid splitting the block. On my first one I drilled straight through non-stop and here was the result. After your last bait block, Add a washer and a nut or a wing nut. Now here's a clever way to make a base for your bait station so it can stand up on its own. Take a scrap of PVC pipe. I'm using a one inch section. Cut a slit into it with a saw. I used a band saw. Take a heat gun and heat up the opposite side of the slit. And in a few seconds, it'll be warm enough to bend. Now press down on it with your PVC pipe and it should take shape perfectly around the bait station. We'll do the same thing for the support on the other side. I'm drilling a small pilot hole in the pipe and a larger hole in the mounting foot for a flathead screw to pass through. You can countersink the hole in the foot like I'm doing here using a larger drill bit.
I'll use standard PVC primer and adhesive to seal all three joints on the T connector. Don't accidentally seal off the cap if you plan to reload your bait station. After all three joints are sealed, your bait station is complete. However, you may want to paint yours. You can paint it green to blend in with nature, or you can use my favorite color, blue. It's a good idea to use a paint that says it can be used on plastic so it won't scratch off so easily. While using a mouse trap in your house is pretty effective, the best thing you can do is keep mice from coming in your house at all. It's a simple project which you can build in less than an hour. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and as always... However, they do pee constantly. They use it to communicate and to track their paths. Let's pause, Paul, because after I use the bathroom. Right in the middle of the video? What? After take a dump. <laughs>